Hey, this is Vicki. I am coming to you from Upper Room Ministries, giving you your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. You're right. If we're looking for that deep breath that comes with these kinds of testimonies. I just want to tell you, I'm starting off like this. Don't do it. Don't you do it. You're probably asking yourself, don't do what? Oh, believe me, we've all done it. Here's the thing. I'm starting out my day, and uh, I have a few things. I'm going to pick up a Polish priest and take him to the Denver airport. It's a privilege to be able to do that. I was with him in a conference uh, this last week, and we saw amazing miracles of people receiving healing, emotional healing, healing of memories, and uh, also a great rich history on Sister St. Faustina. Um, so here's the thing not to do. All right, let me let you take a look. I'm going to swing you around here and uh, see that hose. See all that water? That's a water bill that has been dripping all night long. I asked my daughter to water. She left the hose on all night long. Sure, you can just start going, ah, oh, don't you do it. Don't do it. Move at the pace of peace. Be unmoved. If you're really on your rock, then don't be moved. So all I'm going to do without a huffing and a puffing, which also is part of body language, as you believe, so shall you be. We want those graces, and those graces are obtained by us cooperating, cooperating with grace. That means we cooperate with the opening of the door so grace can flow. See? So all I do is I not move. I, my whole body's relaxed. My face is relaxed. I don't start ruminating. I only notice. It's information, not judgment. Did you catch me? Information, not judgment. Now, hold on. I have something else to show you. Okay, I'm out by my truck. And uh, because I'm picking up this priest, I thought, oh, it'd be nice to um, pick him up in a very clean uh, truck. Okay, and so I took my truck through a wash, and this time I paid a little bit more money so I could get it buffed and the tires looking good and all this kind of stuff. Guess what? It damaged my car. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't take that huff and a puff. Don't do it. Are you on your rock? Are you not going to be moved? We take it as information, not judgment right it's just information like picking up a pencil and we're not going to judge it that's that heaviness you feel okay so all i did was i reported it to the manager the manager and i took a look at it he agreed yeah it's kind of messed up filed an insurance claim okay but be unmoved here don't let the heaviness settle don't ruminate on it that's a lot of don'ts when you tell somebody to not do something you have to replace it with something so that means go into the belly, the belly where God is just filling you up with these waves and waves of love that are waiting for you to be, to notice them. So instead of noticing the truck, instead of noticing the water, instead of noticing that the kitchen is a bit of a mess, instead of noticing my daughter used my car and there's hardly any gas in it now, Instead of all that, we're unmoved. Simply information. We're not going to judge it. We're not going to have that heaviness. We're just going to notice it and know that nothing has taken God by surprise. He has prepared us for everything. So what do we need to do? We need to listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit. He will tell us what to do. So, I just got the deep breath. Praise God. Listen, God has prepared this day before you've asked for anything because his name is providence. His name is mercy. His name is love. Focus on that which is of him, not of the world. That's Romans 12 too. It says, be, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. So I'm transforming the water, the car, the kitchen, the gas, all of that and everything else through the day. 
I am under being transformed in the mind by looking at it as information and knowing with wisdom that God has provided for all of these things. He told me the other day, you do not need to manipulate that which I can bring to you. Boy, do I have a lot of stories about that. But I've used up my time because I just want this to be a short recording. I'll record that at another time. Take care. God bless. I pray that for, this has been from my heart to yours and has given you that rich spiritual oxygen. Live faithfully only one moment at a time. Okay, if you missed it here, it's right here to recover. All right, take care. God bless. Check me out on YouTube, Your Daily Dose of Spiritual Oxygen. I'm also on Upper Room Ministries, Vicki Smith. And I also have a healing uh, testimonies uh, YouTube channel. So I'll try to put all that in here uh, down at the bottom uh, when I have a moment. Okay, take care. God bless. Click like, subscribe, little notification button. And if it is helping you, it might, might help someone else. So pray it forward. Amen.